After two years of deadlock, Congress has finally approved a sweeping farm bill, and the president is expected to sign it at Michigan State University on Friday. The Senate passed the $100 billion a year bill this afternoon. The House passed it last week. The bill provides a financial cushion for farmers who face unpredictable weather and market conditions. It also provides subsidies for rural communities and environmentally sensitive land. The nation's 47 million food stamp recipients will be covered, though the program will be cut by $800 million a year. Senator Debbie Stabenow, the bill's author, talked to us live on 24 Hour News 8 at 5, right after the bill passed the Senate. We've worked together in a bipartisan way now for uh, almost three years to get this done. A lot of ups and downs, but you know, one out of four people in Michigan work because of agriculture or our food industry, so this is a big deal. And we are taking this story further tonight. New tonight, 24 Hour News 8's Heather Walker spoke to the chair of the Michigan Apple Association who lobbies for area fruit farmers to find out what impact this bill has on West Michigan. Heather? Marley, Julie Wa Rothwell also comes from a long line of growers and says she's happy with this farm bill. She thinks the changes will only benefit our farmers here in West Michigan. The majority of crops in West Michigan are considered specialty crops. That means fruits, vegetables, or nursery greenhouse products. The biggest impact of this bill on our farmers are the changes it makes to crop insurance. Two years ago, our apple crop was wiped out because of weather, leaving many farmers in the hole. In the past, we've had um, the frost last year. We also have had, you know, some hailstorms that have wiped people out, windstorms as well. So crop insurance is a, is a very important thing um, for the grower to be able to stabilize. Farmers have always been able to get crop insurance, but this new farm bill makes it more affordable and the process of acquiring it more streamlined. It's much easier. There were there were restrictions beforehand that made it extremely, it was cost prohibitive. It wasn't, it, it wasn't common sense. And, and that has rectified. The bill also allows cherries to get crop insurance for the first time. These changes will provide a safety net for farmers when there's a bad year. If you have growers that are, are successful, they're employing people, they're buying products. Of course, there are critics of the bill. Republican John McCain says it's mind-boggling, the sum of money that's spent on farm subsidies and special interest pet project. He pointed to grants and subsidies for sheep marketing, sushi rice, and the maple syrup industry. Live in studio control, Heather Walker, 24-hour News 8. Heather, thank you. And again, the president will sign the farm bill in East Lansing on Friday, and we will bring you live coverage right here on Wood TV 8 and on woodtv.com.